Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this pack video short, we're going to discuss tips 7, 8, and 9 of the pack facilitator's rules and guidelines. PACT is an acronym. It stands for performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. The 12 rules and guidelines for the PACT facilitator are there to help you facilitate a group process. A group of master performers and other subject matter experts, novices and managers and supervisors. Write it down and then discuss it. This is a little bit redundant, by design, of what I said earlier in a previous tip. When somebody says something, I go and write it down immediately and then turn to the group looking for confirmation, looking to see if there's a consensus on what was posted, and then discuss it, ask about it, challenge it, etc. When you ask your question to elicit a response, write it down. If you don't write it down, it suggests that you, the facilitator, didn't think that the person that volunteered that got it quite right. And that's going to slow everybody down as they try to guess and read your mind as to what you're looking for. Me, when I'm facilitating, I really don't know what the answers are. I might think I know, I might have some clue about it, but I really don't know because we're studying the performance of some other job and I don't understand that job as well as the master performers do. That's why they're in the room. So once you ask a question, as soon as somebody gives you an answer, write it down. Now I've told people prior to me doing this that I'm going to do that because if something that gets volunteered is not right, I need the group to know that I'm going to write it down anyway and then turn back to them and then look and seek confirmation to see if there's a consensus around this. Perhaps we can adopt that that's been posted or we need to adapt it. We need to wordsmith it. We need to edit it a bit to make it better and quite right for our purposes. Use humor. This is very tricky. I always make myself the butt of all jokes. Unless, of course, somebody is joking in the room with me and I feel that their egos will tolerate me making fun of them. But even if I do that, I always make sure that the balance is more about me making fun of myself than me making fun of anybody in the group. This is very tricky. If you're not good at this, you probably should skip this tip. Control the process and the participants. Control often has a bad, a negative connotation. However, nothing is worse than being in a group process when everybody feels that their time is being wasted because of some reason. Some other person is dominating the conversation. Somebody's taking us off in tangents. It's up to you, the facilitator, to make effective and efficient use of everybody's time and not waste it. These are master performers we've assembled. Their time is valuable. They don't like to have anybody wasted. They didn't get to be a master performer because they allowed anybody in their careers to waste their time. So you shouldn't either. Control the process and the participants. If somebody is dominating, you need to stop them from dominating a conversation. You need to say, let me check with other people, be declarative, be redundant by design if necessary, and stop them from talking. If that doesn't work, take a break and then confront them gently at first and ask them to help you engage the rest of the group because you're trying to get a group consensus, not find out what one person thinks. Now, when I've had people in the meetings that refuse to do that, that demanded that they dominate every conversation, that everything went their way, I've had to excuse people from the meeting. Now, because I've known that this was a possibility, I had asked permission of the project steering team who handpicked the master performers that I was going to work with, permission to do so, that if somebody becomes dysfunctional to our purpose, that I can disinvite them. And at the project steering meeting, that usually brings up an entire conversation about that, and the project steering team members are likely to tell me who is potentially going to be my problem participants and they will give me permission to do so, to disinvite them. 
but it's my last resort. I'm going to do many different things in order to avoid that. But if it comes right down to it and there's no way around it and they won't cooperate with me after I've asked them privately, asked them publicly, then I'm going to disinvite them privately at first. And if they refuse to go, then I will disinvite them publicly and ask for their manager's phone number so that I can make that call to have them recalled back to their world of work. The 12 rules and guidelines of facilitation are to help you facilitate groups of master performers. Beware of gigo. Garbage in, garbage out. Always strive for good stuff in, good stuff out. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.